Hey everyone, let me do a quick demo here. The my my uh, Pioneer RT909 real real. Got a media player on in the background. All right, so that's obviously going on to the tape. I'm struggling, really struggling, trying to find good music to put to do these demos with, and I don't, I'm not winning. But anyways, okay, that's what's going on to the tape. That's what's coming off of the tape. Again, that's going, that's what you hear going onto the tape, that's the source. That's off of the tape. I got my lines reversed, but uh, this is uh, uh, right, uh, right, right channel, channel pioneer, pioneer right, right. Mike. Mike. Pioneer, Pioneer left. left. Testing, Testing one, two. Now that's auto reverse. The sensing foil on the inside of the tape. I also have the repeat feature on, and when this thing counts down to um, passes all zeros, you know, nine 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 nine, it's actually going to repeat and start playing it forward again, and we'll hear what we just recorded. In the meantime, this deck is going to come with paper operating instructions. Very nice put together service manual. It's actually the guy, the guy who got it from did a really nice job with it. Alright. You get You're gonna get three of these. Maxell UD35180. You're also gonna get the Pioneer Hubs, and you're gonna get the Pioneer Take-Up Reel. Pioneer right, Mike. Pioneer left, testing one, two. All right, now I just went through this deck. I did, I did quite a bit on this deck. Um, the, uh, the motherboard, the, the preamp board, and the um, the control B board that runs all the the power supply and the solenoids and everything uh, replaced about a hundred capacitors on there, um, all with the Elna Silmic two caps and Nichicon audio grade capacitors. Mostly, uh, mostly they're Silmic twos though. And I just I don't, oh I do have something on there.
So, anyways, I'm getting distracted. The uh, so it's a hundred over a uh, hundred capacitors, electrolytic capacitors have been replaced on this thing. Um, the NEC op amps have been removed and sockets installed, and Burr Brown uh, op amps were installed. Um, they're a better op amp by far. You know, Rotel uses nothing but these Burr Browns in there. It's all it's all really good stuff. The NECs are just the I don't want to say bottom of the pile, but you know a lot of people used them, but they're just uh, uh, just a the very basic op amp, um, and that's uh, for for playback. So you get a better sound out of these op amps. Um, the uh, the the capstan motor on these things has always has always been challenging to a lot of people. The uh, the capstan motor, first of all, has been uh, taken apart. The brush is examined. There's a there's a ton of life left in these brushes. The commutator I've actually cleaned out and uh, polished. The, uh, the there's a H H bridge circuit that runs that forward and reverse. Those four transistors have all been placed replaced with brand new Fairchild transistors, and they're a better transistor. All the uh, pots and switches have been cleaned with deoxid D5, and then after a dry, I, I do the fader lube, the deoxid fader lube. It means all these controls and all these switches are going to be nice and quiet. You don't hear that crackly static when you operate it. Uh, what else did I do here? Um, oh, the um, the heads, the uh, the two the two playback and the one record head. They've all been I, I've taken them out, removed them, and I have relapped them. So there is no groove in these heads. They look brand new. I have aligned and and set everything on the tape heads. The pinch rollers have been replaced. The uh, the rubber has been replaced on them as well. Um, I went ahead and checked all the torque settings. If anyone knows these 909s, there's a lot of settings on here for the uh, for forward and reverse, all the torques. This thing works like it came out of the box. Um, the um, boy, I love that. I just lose my train of thought. Um, the uh, the head cover on this thing is in is in pretty good shape. Um, I did have to do a, a touch up around the outer edge, um, but it really looks very good. And uh, if you look at the pictures on the eBay listing, it'll it'll show all that. Also the uh, the uh, the housing I had to take that off. It did have a dent or two in it, and uh, you know they they just don't look good after after thirty or thirty five years. So I went ahead and, and repainted that, and I'll send more pictures of that too. It really turned out very nice. It, um, it looks like it's powder coated. It is not, but it uh, really it really turned out nice. So let's see. I'm probably forgetting a lot of stuff here, but um, anyways, everything works on this guy. It works really, really well. It's another nice 909. Let me just go back and forth here. They're one touch controls. So I just hit play forward. Yeah, there's not much that my recordings are hit or miss on this. Anyways, um, I won't tie up any more of your time. I appreciate you guys looking at this. Um, anyways, it is a uh, thing of beauty. I'm going to stop rambling because that's all I'm doing. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and please leave an email. I'd appreciate it. If you guys uh, enjoy, take care. Thanks for looking.